add mixed numbers with unlike denominators. Okay, well, this one has this one has like denominators, but they're just warming us up here. So there are a couple of ways we can do this. With the like denominators, we can go ahead, I mean, let's let's go ahead and do this by adding these numbers here, right? So we get two plus two is four. And then we can add these fractions and we can say one third plus one third equals two thirds. All right, so we can say this is four and two thirds. All right, because when we have like denominators, we keep the denominator the same and we add numerators. So we have four and two thirds. So four space two forward slash three. That's how you type it in here. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say one and two adds up to three. And then one third plus two thirds equals three thirds. But that's just one, right? Three out of three is just one. So then we add our three to our one and we get four. Okay, so this is our first one with unlike. So now we have a one and a one, and we can say, all right, that's two. And then we can do the one sixth and the one third. And we can say, all right, what's one sixth plus one third? Well, we have to find a common denominator, right? So one third, the common denominator is six. So we can multiply the top and the bottom by two to get two out of six. Right, one third is two sixths. And when we add those, we'll get three sixths. But that simplifies down to one half. We divide the top and the bottom by three. So we're gonna end up with two and a half, right? Two and a half. Two space one forward slash two. Okay, how about this one? So the one and the one add up to two. And then let's think of a common denominator between two and five. So we can take two times five and get 10. So one half, if we want that to be over 10, we multiply the two by five, so we have to multiply the one by five. If we want the two fifths to be 10, we have to make the 10 on the bottom. What did we multiply five by to get 10? Two. So two times two is four. All right, so this is gonna give us nine tenths. So we're gonna get two and nine tenths. And we, we always should check that that's the nine tenths is simplified. Okay, this is a, a fun one. Everything's gonna like just work out nicely. So this will be two. Three fourths and one fourth, I bet you know what that is, right? It's four fourths, but what's four out of four? What are four quarters out of a basketball game? It's a whole game, right? Or four quarters make up a whole dollar, right? So this is just one. So you have two plus one is three. Okay, so two plus one gives us three. The two thirds, so these are gonna give us a common denominator of six. So what did we multiply by the three by to get six? We multiplied it by two, so two times two is four. If that's a six, we multiply the two by three, so one times three is three. That's gonna give us seven sixths, aha. Seven six. So now let's turn that into a mixed fraction. So seven divided by six is one. We have a remainder of one. Six doesn't go into one. So it'll be one and one sixth 
plus 3. So that's easy, right? We won't ever have to do a lot of work there. That'll just be 4 and a sixth. Okay, how about this? 1 and 1 half plus 1 and a third. So the 1 and the 1 add up to 2. Okay, what's the common denominator here? Well, it's 2 times 3 is 6. So we multiply the 2 by 3 to get 6. So we have to multiply the 1 by 3. So we get 3 sixths plus. Okay, we multiplied the 3 on the bottom by 2 to get 6. So we have to multiply the 1 on the top by 2 to get 6. So that's going to be 5 sixths. And so we end up with 2 and 5 sixths. Not so bad. You could already tell from the 6, actually, right? As soon as we knew that the common denominator was 6, you already knew that that was the right answer. But that's just because this is a multiple choice, right? We won't actually be able to do it, not just pick the right answer. Okay, I think we did this one. Well, no, we did it with 3 quarters and 1 quarter. So 1 and 1 is 2. And then 2 thirds plus 1 third, that's, that's a fun one, right? 2 out of 3, 1 out of 3, adds up to 3 out of 3. Whenever the numerator and the denominator are the same, that's just 1. So 2 plus 1 isn't 2, it's 3. Don't be tricked. Okay, 1 and a half, 1 and a half is 3. But we will go through the steps, we get 2. 1 half plus 1 half gives us 2 halves, or 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, and another fun one. 1 and 1 is 2, and then we're going to have this other thing again. 3 fifths plus 2 fifths equals 5 fifths, which is just, as we know, 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. You probably guessed that one. You know it's bigger than 2. You know it's not 33. And it's, it's not going to be 4 because you know, you're only adding fractions there. So 3. You're adding proper fractions there, I should say. Okay, so great. Hopefully you had fun with that. Just requires some practice. But yeah, get to it and I'll see you next time.